Hey guys, what's happening? So, I'm over this pole start, man. God, this thing sucks. But, uh, yeah, yesterday, man, look at those blisters. Both hands just yanking and pulling. Um, so, got this electric start thing over to Red Cat Racing. I, mean, I looked them on, on Amazon, and they were about the same price. But I knew Amazon could take two weeks to get there, and this thing got here in a couple days. So, I, I had to spend an extra 5 or $10 to... So I don't have to wait a month. But uh, yeah, so it's an electric start kit. So it's going to replace this pull start thing right here. And uh, hopefully it's going to make it a lot easier. And hopefully I can access it from the back here. But uh, so I'm going to have to pull the engine out. And at the same time, I'm going to do another video. I'm actually going to take the engine apart and powder coat it. So I'm going to take this whole thing apart, powder coat it, powder coat the exhaust. Um, yeah, because I live down at the beach, and this, this aluminum will just turn into, like, white flaky powder in, like, about a, two weeks. Um, in sort of, like, raw aluminum. Alright, so, let's take this thing apart and see what's in it. Alright. Alright. So, I got the kit with the, the also, the ones on the Amazon, they didn't have the, they didn't include the battery. The ones that are, like, the 30R range don't have the actual battery. So keep that in mind. Construction kit. Alright. So I, had, I just bought a huge uh, batch of uh, RC cars. Use RC cars on Amazon or eBay. That should be here in about a week or two. Alright, let's start. So let's take a look. Yeah, like I said, the other ones didn't really include the battery, so just make sure you get the ones with the battery. What kind of battery this is? Uh, cool, at least it's nickel metal hydrate. Yeah, NICADs kind of suck. Okay, so I do actually have a, uh, a nicer charger up there that I can use, or I can use the little cheapo charger they have. Okay, it's just a plug. Okay. Plug that in. And the light came on over here, so on the AC adapter. I'm assuming it's going to turn green when it's finished, or the light will go out. So, um, I mean, this thing should be pretty self explanatory. You put the battery in, then hit this thing, and it should spin. And it's sort of like a like a dog bone. I mean, I guess I could have just bought like a, like a dog bone and a drill. But my thought is I'm gonna probably go for the back because I can't sort of limit in certain areas. My thought was because it looks like and hopefully I can rotate this uh, different clocking to get better access because it looks like it's not. Any uh, like there's no like like a set key, so I'm hoping I can clock it in a place where I can get access to it. Maybe like through here. That's what I'm thinking through the suspension right here. I'll put that there. If you want to use a very very light grease, this is too thick. Any sort of like this stuff is really really thin right here. This silicone grease it's clear too. All right, I got the back on. So I mounted it to the right side because if it's on the left side, I'm not gonna it's gonna interfere with it. I'm not gonna really get the thing in there, the dog bone in there, so Alright, so I got the cranking the mechanism on there. I flipped it 180 degrees, so I mean even though they say this is for this car, I mean if you had actually had it on the other side, it would interfere with the uh, differential here. So yeah, I did the powder coat last night. Turned out pretty good. Alright, so let's get this uh, thing in here. Charged the battery yesterday. Um, just slips in here. In the, there's a little clip in there. All right, there it is. All right, so I'm guessing that's a motor and a gear reduction. All right, let's see how that thing goes. Normally, you should probably hold the car down. Nice. God, that's gonna be so much nicer. All right.